So welcome to this Dorax component tutorial. So in this tutorial, you will learn about how to use components in Dora to make your design consistent and the process more efficient. You can set different states of a button under components. You can reuse it in other places. For example, put it in a cart. Cards, toast message, these are all examples of components. So in today's tutorial, we'll cover the basic concept of components, how to create a component, how to use a component, I'd like to show you more examples of how you can apply components and also last when you should use a component. So let's start with the basic concept. A component can have different properties. For example, a button component. It can have the property of type and content. So property value is the different options under properties. For example, for button type property, there could be the value of primary, secondary, danger. And for the property content, you could have the value of icon text, text, icon. Here are all the possible combinations of the properties I mentioned above. Each state is a unique combination of properties and values. Next, let's talk about how to create a component. So we will start with creating a simple button that you will use all the time. Let's create a container. I am changing this color to a purple color. And I put in the text button. I'm going to do some minor changes, the size, the line height, and also add a constraint to make sure it's in the center. Next, I set the width and the height as hug, and I give it a padding. Then I also set up the radius. So when I right click on this button, I choose create component, and it brings me to the manage page. Let's click on the plus button to create another state of this button. I want to make it as a secondary color, so now I use a gray color for this. I change the color, the stroke, the type color as well. And here let's manage the properties, and I'm naming this property as type, and setting the first one as main. And I will add another properties and change it to state. I want to create a hover state for these two buttons. So in the hover state, I will make this button a little bit more darker purple. And for the secondary button, I am going to make it into a darker gray. So now let's add the interaction for it. When I click on the button, you see the thunder. And you just drag it to the button that you want to connect. And choose hover in here. Switch component state to state 2. And for the gray one, we will connect it to the state 3. What happens here is when you hover on the button, it will turn into a darker color. Gray button. For this secondary button, I hope it can jump to another page when I use it. Next, let's talk about how to use a component. So in the components tab, we can just drag the component you want to use and create a copy of it, which is called instance. You can overwrite anything like text or color you want, and this will not affect the original component. And on the right hand tab, I can change it to other states that I have set just now. So when I hover on it and click, it brings me to the other page. And if you want to reset this to back to the original one, just click on Reset All Overrides. And here's the original main component. Next, let's talk about some more details about components. So here I created an instance from this button component. And by copying it, I have another instance copy. So now I'm going to name the first one as original. I'm not going to make any changes. And for the second one, I will name it as change color, and I'm going to change the color of it into blue. Let me make another copy, and I'm going to change the radius of this button. So now it looks more squarish. Let's go to the main component and edit the original component. So first, let me change this component into an orange one and also change the radius to a larger radius. So now it looks like a pill button. So when we go back, you will see different things have changed. The first one, because it was original, so all the changes I made has been applied. But for the second one, because I changed the blue color, so the color change did not apply, but the radius change has been applied. And for the third one, the color change has been applied, but the radius change have not been applied. So here are some details you should know about components. And fourth, let me show you some more examples about how you can use components. So here, the design is to make this image review when I hover on it. So set the constraints, set the container as click content, and the image as zero opacity. I'm going to create another state, change the image to 100% opacity. Let me add an interaction between them. 
choose hover and now let's preview so when my mouse is hovering it this image pops in the second example is a button that would enlarge when you hover on it so here is how it looks and the third example is very useful when you're creating your project list project galleries so when you hover on it there will be an image having an animation coming in. It's very useful for when you show a preview of about this project. For a fourth one, it's the text popping in when you hover on it. So there's a simple animation. And last, let's talk about when you should use components. So first is when you are having repetitive usage. For example, for a call to action button in navigation bar, you're using it again and again. So by using components, you can manage and change them in an efficient way. And second is when you have different states. For example, for the buttons, you have a hover state or you have like a primary secondary button. And for the last one is when you include interactions, just like the examples I showed you just now. These are all the situations when you can use a component to help your design be more efficient and consistent. So let's make a quick recap. So in today's tutorial, we talk about the basic concepts of components. Second, how to create a component. Third, how to use a component. Fourth, more examples. Five, when to use components. That's all for the tutorial of today. Thanks for watching.